Where's your vibration? Ever wonder where the frequency of your life vibrates at? You should, because if you know what frequency you're at, you're better equipped if you desire to change your life to have more abundance, live a better life, your best life, and make the world a better place. So where is your vibration? If you want to experience the manifestation of an abundant life, know this, you are attracting all the things into your life which you are a vibrational match to right now. In our Beyond Science Lab, we're working on a device which reads your standard energy frequency vibration. Every thought you think, situation, circumstance, or media hit you are exposed to will raise or lower your human vibrational frequency. But there's no need to use complicated electronic devices to determine the frequency of your vibration. So look around, and you'll see exactly what your vibrational match to. The life that you are living is always a perfect match to your current vibrational frequency set point. Always. But you want more. And who wouldn't? And your mere wanting a better life, lover, car, home, financial status, and whatever else is your idea of having an abundant lifestyle are all important pieces to the puzzle which can bring all these things to come to pass. How can you raise your vibration? So, how can you raise your vibration to match the frequency of what you want? The answer is important because this is the quickest way to manifest the desires of your heart with the least amount of effort. And the answer is simple, but it may not be easy. The answer is... Change your life. Make your life a vibrational match to what you want. Now, there are a couple of ways to go about this. The first will sound a little more reasonable. Become a financial match. This is not always the best way, but it is the way which is more commonly embraced by society. If you can raise your financial frequency, the pure number of dollars or financial resources over which you have control, you can affect a substantial change of life and manifest more abundance. Using this approach, you'll need to evaluate where you are financially now to establish a starting point and then to find out what level of income you need to be at to have all the things that you want. Let's just take a look at one thing, for example, your own luxury yacht. You can get an entry level yacht for around $100,000. You don't have to pay it all at once. If you have good credit and a 40% debt to income ratio, that means you have 60% of your monthly income to spend on whatever you want besides living expenses. You'll need a $10,000 down payment, $1,500 for personal necessities, including life jackets and such, $600 for insurance. Oh, and you'll have to pay someone, a yacht pilot, for when you want to take it out as well. So to become a financial match, you need to make at least $50,000 a year and live moderately enough that you can have enough left over to enjoy your yacht at least once a month. You can call vendors of any item your heart desires and ask them what the average cost is to buy, own, and maintain it. You can inquire about the financing options, what it would take for a down payment, monthly obligations, even asking what the average income of someone is who normally owns such an item. With this data in hand, you can reverse engineer how much you would need to make it happen. Then find ways to raise your income level to match the items you want. Or you could manifest your yacht in another manner using primarily your vibrational frequency to match the boat that you want. Become a vibrational match. You could using your imagination and power of thought, achieve a state of mind equivalent to that of having your yacht. Then, when your thoughts, along with the feeling of having your yacht, match, the yacht will find its way to you. This process did not involve making a financial plan, but making an energetic plan. You will be focusing your attention every day on the object of your affection. You will cut out articles about it, read news articles, and blog posts about people who have a yacht just like the one you want. You will make vision boards and spend time imagining every detail about what it would be like to have that yacht and even join a yacht club in accordance with your desire to have one. Now, except for the most exclusive yacht clubs, you don't have to own a yacht to join the club. Joining a yacht club has you enjoying the company of the people who already have yachts, love talking about them, and these could potentially become your new friends, effectively raising your vibration to match that of the vessel you desire and may open up the avenues to allow your yacht to appear when you are a perfect match for it. There is no doubt, there are countless examples of this working efficiently even for those who are not in a financial situation who would normally be required to have such to achieve this level of abundance. Then some people protest and say, I've tried to raise my vibration and I can't see me being any closer to what I want, but it looks like chaos. Now, once you go about the work of purposely raising your vibration, it can be difficult to see the powers of the universe vectoring in all the details to provide the full manifestation of your heart's desires. At times, it can look somewhat chaotic, but you must not give up or give in to doubt, which causes your desires to move further away from your current vantage point. 
There are minute details which you may not have even considered that may have to be in place for your desire to be realized in its fullness. What you want is in the process of manifestation. All these details are being tended to and worked out as you're becoming a vibrational match to what you want. Trust the process. Allowing doubt, unworthiness, uncertainty, or fear to enter into the equation will keep you separated from your heart's desires. It takes a bit of tenacity to see your dream through to fruition, but you can have whatever it is that you want in this life if you keep reaching for it and imagining how magnificent the having of it will be in all of its glory. If you can do this, regardless of what it looks like, what you seek will find you. Okay, you say, that's all well and good, but I just don't want this one thing. I want the good life. I want it all. These two keys unlock the vault of the wild abundance of those who are now fully living an abundant lifestyle. They have it all, and you can have it too. The simple truth of what is commonly referred to as the law of attraction is what I've been sharing with you today. While you may not be ready to hear this yet, simply stay with me. Don't disengage and just let this wash over you, even if you disagree with me right now. If you're feeling a little defensive, no problem. Just let it sink in and consider it at a later time whenever it suits you better. Now, I've alluded to it before, but it all comes down to this. Key number one, your life matches your vibration. The life you're living right now, every detail of it, the lack of finances or love, the drama, the trauma, the uneasiness, the fear, the brokenness, the chaos, all the things you might experience in your life emotionally, physiologically, and throughout your daily life, all of it is a perfect match to the frequency of your vibration. We could hook you up to our equipment in the lab and test to see what frequency your body is vibrating at, and that number value can be related to a chart like this one. Your resting state vibration is what we refer to as your vibrational set point. This is related to like the set point on the thermostat in your home. You set it at 69 degrees. When the temperature goes down, the heater kicks in until the temperature returns to 69. If the temperature rises, the air conditioner turns on until the temp returns to 69 degrees, your thermostat set point. The same is true with your body's vibrational frequency set point. Throughout any given day, your vibration can go up or down as you experience any of the frequencies on the chart. But you will always return to your base vibrational frequency, whatever that is. If you really want it all, that means that everything you want in your life is really going all the way you want it to, the life that you deserve to live, no matter what you've been through in the past, then the best move you can make right now is to raise your vibration. While my goal in life is to maintain vibrational frequency of about 500 and above, I might notice things appearing, affecting, or taking place in my life which have a lower frequency on this chart. That's how I know at what frequency I'm vibrating at any moment. Knowing that, I can choose to remain at that lower level of vibration for a while, or I can opt to change my vibration. And that is the second key. Key number two, you can change your vibration. You can change your vibrational frequency at any time by choosing to take action and take the steps necessary to modify your emotional state and your surroundings to match the high vibration you want to maintain. Let's say you want to maintain a high vibration of love in the 500 area frequencies and someone or something disrupts your vibration and brings you down. For instance, you see a really negative advertisement or post on social media which causes your vibration to plummet. Your frequency could immediately drop from 500 to 150 and now you're upset. So what you do in the next seven seconds can change everything. You can't change the fact that you've been exposed to this thing which upset you, but how you respond to it changes everything. If you respond to it with a reaction from one of the lower level frequencies on this chart, you reinforce that lower vibrational state for hours and you add energy to that which has disrupted your otherwise high vibration. If you repost it or respond to it in any negative way, you have increased the prevalence of that which you find offensive as it gains more fuel to spread more rapidly and you remain at the 150 frequency or even lower if it's made you feel helpless or sad. You could choose to ignore it. I don't even know if you're able to unsee or unexperience such a thing at this point and focus your attention on something else. But if you can do this, you've moved your vibration from 150 up the scale to 250, and that's good work. But you could do better. What if you could immediately respond in love? You already know that is a frequency of 500, and you can take yourself right back there by choosing to respond with a love reaction. If there are victims of that negative news, you can support them, support the organizations which are helping them, 
Make a small donation or some other contribution. Light a candle. Meditate. Pray for them, positively for the victims, and send them love. Be careful not to energetically push against the bad guys or the evil in any scenario. That only makes them stronger and keeps your vibration low. When you spend time at those lower level vibrations, your life begins to match that lower vibration. If you want to raise your vibration, stop responding negatively. Consciously decide to respond in love to any given scenario. It may not be easy at first, but it gets easier because every time you do it, you are effectively raising your set point up the scale. And as you do, responding in love becomes a more natural response for you. Find ways to spend your time throughout the day basking in the high vibration activities. Feel empowered to take action and create an environment which supports your decision to live a high vibration lifestyle and have everything your heart desires in this life. Yes, you can have it all, but it will take some time, attention, and inspired action on your part to affect your personal powers of manifestation and abundant life. Spend more time surrounding yourself with the people, activities, and things that you love. And when something upsets you, don't get defensive. Instead, respond in love. The more you practice high vibration energy activities, the higher your set point raises up the emotional frequency chart. Maintaining a high vibration will give you the abundant life you've been waiting for. My name is David M. Masters. You can find out more about me at davidmmasters.com.